Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be going to the middle or the center of our galaxy and talk about a recent study that basically suggested that we finally discovered various types of black holes very very close to the actual center of the galaxy. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this uh, new study actually is based on the theory uh, that suggests that right next to the central black hole, basically Sagittarius A star that we're going to be visiting in a few seconds, within about 6 to maybe 10 light years, there should be a tremendous amount of black holes, specifically close to about 10,000. So let's actually first go to the Sagittarius A star which is right there in the center of this very large globular cluster. And here, if I go to a distance of about six light years, or let's just go to this is about 10 light years, which is approximately this far away. Within this distance, there should be a tremendous amount of black holes. Now, for the longest time, we couldn't really find any. As a matter of fact, um, as of today, there's only about maybe 60 or so black holes we've discovered in the entire galaxy. And that's not really even close to the theory. And this so-called um, density cusp, as it's known, has been basically nothing but a theory. Now, in uh, Space Engine, if I were to come closer to the central black hole and to then search for any kind of black holes within 20 light years away from our, from us or even more than 20 i can actually even put 50 light years i will unfortunately find nothing so even this game okay there's one here the distance of about 50 light years uh, but, but even this game is currently set to basically only detect uh black holes with a much much uh, lower frequency but the reality is that most scientists or most astrophysicists today believe that there are a tremendous variety of black holes within about one parsec away from Sagittarius A star. In other words, uh, within about four light years of uh, the central black hole, which is right there, there should be close to about 20,000 of these beautiful objects. Now, where exactly are they? Well, it turns out, uh, and this is coming from a very recent uh, paper uh, by Charles Haley, Kaya Mori, and Franz Bauer, and a few other people. Um, this was actually posted in, in Nature magazine very um, recently in April of 2018. Turns out that they actually um, used previous data from the Chandra telescope, and what they did was look at the binary, uh, specifically the so-called uh, X-ray binaries, similar to the Cygnus binaries. Basically, these are uh, binaries containing a black hole and another object. And uh, normally, these can be uh, relatively energetic, but they were looking at just regular binaries that may actually have black holes that have um, these things. They would have an accretion disk. And these accretion disks in binaries will actually produce a little bit of X-rays. Not a lot of X-rays, but a little bit of them. And so they actually just looked at these uh, more or less uh, not so energetic black hole binaries. And what they discovered was basically at least a dozen uh, of these objects within about one parsec of the um, central black hole. They actually even took a photo of it, which you can see on the screen right now. And so this is the Sagittarius A star right here. And you can see every red spot that you see on the screen is basically an X-ray coming from most likely a, a black hole binary. In other words, they were able to discover quite a lot of these unusual binaries in this region that we haven't really seen before. And using uh, statistics, we can actually estimate that there's probably uh, a lot more singular black holes out there. So even though they only discovered about a dozen or so uh, binary black holes, uh, just based on the understanding of how black holes form and how binary systems work, we think that there's probably something like uh, 10, possibly 20,000 singular black holes hiding out there 
very close to Sagittarius A star. Now, this is within a distance of about four or so light years, so that's actually not very close. And I wanted to show it to you in Universe Sandbox just so you can get an idea of how far away it actually is in terms of distances. And so with Sagittarius A star right here in the middle, we can place maybe a few smaller black holes um, at a distance where um, you would basically find these objects. So here we're actually talking about several light years and that would, that's actually pretty far away. So there's probably this many black holes they've discovered now. And these were all binary black holes, but um, at a relatively large distance. And as you can see, it's actually um, so, somewhat similar to the distance between our sun and the closest star to us, which is uh, Proxima b. Or Prox Proxima Centauri, that is. Proxima b is the planet around that star. So um, it's not that close, but like I said, within this distance, they expect at least 20,000 black holes, which is actually quite a lot. So it would look more, uh, and I don't even know if I can actually try to put that many here, but it would look more like something maybe like this. Now, let's see if it actually works. Okay, here we go. This is only a thousand of them. Uh, so as you can see, the game has suddenly slowed down dramatically and I may not even be able to run it very fast. Uh, but basically everything here is essentially a black hole and all of these individual objects um, are sort of a representation of 1 20th of what we think is happening here. And this is within about one parsec. And so even though there are actually also stars here, uh, there is actually a tremendous amount of these black holes. And this is what we refer to as the density cusp, mostly because we believe that a lot of these black holes came here from the outer uh, edges of the inner galaxy. And they actually ended up closer and closer to Sagittarius A star. And a lot of them actually do end up falling into uh, Sagittarius A star, thus increasing its mass. At least that's the theory behind it. Unfortunately, I can't really place any more. This is a thousand, I think, at this point. This is as far as my computer will be able to handle. And if your computer is more powerful, you can place all 20,000 just to see what it looks like. But basically, that's kind of what uh, this region looks like. But because these are black holes, we don't really see them. As a matter of fact, we see absolutely nothing here. Because they don't really emit any light. And if they're uh, not in a binary system, they don't even have any accretion disk to basically um, provide any other energy either. They would only emit light if and only if something actually falls into them. Well, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And now we know that the unusual region around Sagittarius A star actually possesses quite a lot of invisible black holes that we don't really see. In other words, even though this was a theory up until now, we have now been able to detect at least a dozen uh, unusual binary systems, which are quite rare usually, where there is or at least might be some sort of a black hole that is emitting X-ray radiation. There is really no better explanation for what it would be. And so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. And hopefully you learned something from it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through video games. And come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.